Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we check out my brand new custom Stingray RS from Ernie Ball Music Man. So I have been with Ernie Ball Music Man for several years now, basically the entire life of my band Dragged Under. We have a US tour with Beartooth and Wage War coming up if you wanna come. Uh, definitely come to this because it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, I have had a guitar in my head for a hot minute and a few months ago, basically January, I got to Pokin poking the most handsomest guy in the music industry, Tim Dove from Ernie Ball Music Man. Hi, Tim, I love you. I was like, you know, it'd be cool if we did like a Stingray RS with, you know, like an ebony board and like this real specific shade of like a surf green, seafoam green-ish kind of thing. And maybe it has one humbucker and maybe, uh, anyway, Tim was like, just send me, just, just tell me what you want. Let's, let's, let's get something built. And I did, I did it. And this is what came of it. This is, this is the guitar I've been rolling around in my head and thinking about for quite a long time. And it is everything I wanted it to be and more. So you can think of this Stingray RS as a very heavily customized Dustin Kensru model for all intents and purposes. It uses a Kensru body, um, meaning it has the battery plate on the back and it has the selector switch uh, delete on the upper horn that normal Stingray RSs have, right? Um, I obviously do not have a selector whatsoever because this is a single pickup configuration with a single volume. Now, I posted this on Instagram and most of you were like, oh, it's just a, you know, that's a grown up Tom DeLonge model, but really wasn't the intent. However, yes, the aesthetic is absolutely there for an early 2000s Tom DeLonge Fender or something like that. However, I have always been a huge fan of single pickup, single volume guitars since Jerry Cantrell and his uh, GNL Rampage uh, back in the 90s. That was my, my, my guitar inspiration and I just decided, you know what? It would be super, super cool to get this guitar built. This has an ebony fretboard, uh, a, an aged white perloid pickguard, has a Fishman Devin Townsend in the bridge, and the knob is actually from a Mesa Boogie rectifier. Basically my favorite amp of all time. So I get to feel like I'm turning the knob of a dual rectifier every time I adjust the volume of this guitar. Flame maple neck, which is just uh, stunning as always with anything Ernie Ball Music Man. Matching headstock, perloid locking, Schaller tuners. Um, this guitar is a stripped down rock and roll machine. And it is, it's, it sounds unbelievable. I took it to rehearsal the other day, right when I got it. And it sounds, it sounds so throaty and huge and it's so stable. It's good amount of weight to it. This is about nine pounds and it's just exactly what I wanted. Shout out to Ernie Ball Music Man for making dream machines. Specific shout out to Mr. Tim Dove and Brian Ball. You both are super handsome gentlemen for building me my dream guitar. I love this guitar so much. And if you wanna see this in person, please come out to see Drag Under open up for Wage War and Beartooth starting August 14th in Las Vegas. And yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to show you guys my new new that I'm excited about. And uh, with that, I'm gonna get out of here. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, Buy yourself something and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.